I'm gonna show you how to mobile live stream in the YouTube app, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel and make videos and all types of YouTube related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. With that out of the way, YouTube released their option to live stream from your mobile device inside of the YouTube app. YouTube stated on their creator blog that they are rolling this feature out to everyone. So if this is something that you're interested in, this is very exciting news that this is available. And real quick, because this is a new feature, let me know any ways that you plan to creatively use this to connect with your audience down in the comments below. Now let's head over to the phone and I'm going to show you how to live stream on YouTube. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you want to open your YouTube app and down in the right hand corner, you'll see the normal record button. You'll wanna tap on that and you'll see the option now that you have the option to record or go live. Of course, you wanna click the go live. Once you click go live, it is going to give you the option to add a title to your video. They mentioned in their creator studio post that this stuff is searchable, just like the normal videos. So make sure that you add titles that are interesting to people. Once you are finished with your title, you can go up into this settings icon in the top right, and you can add your description there. If you have a preset uh, default description, that is also going to be loaded in there and then you can work around that. Next, we wanna make sure that we are set to public and then we are going to click next. Smile for a thumbnail. Of course, if you do not like the thumbnail that it takes, then you can always retake it. Okay, we will go with that one for now. Uh, you can always change this later, of course, once you actually put it into your channel. And then we're gonna go live. As you can see, there's a little bit of a wait time, but uh, it, it goes on. There we go, we are now live and we are testing this again, going live. So if you look up here in the top corner, you are going to see uh, there is a live button up there, English Food Club. What's going on guys? I'm recording this to put into a video right now, so feel free to do whatever you want in the comments. Yeah, live right up here, it lets you know that you are live. Uh, they also give you a little bit of a timer, not a little bit, they actually give you a timer here so you can see what's going on. This lets you know how many people are in your stream, and this right here lets you know uh, you know how many people give this video a thumbs up. Hey guys, give this video a thumbs up so that I can watch that ticker uh, go up real quick for this video. Hello, what's up Madison Jones? What's up Ayub? Okay, as you can see, uh, right here, we got two thumbs up with that. So basically anytime you get a thumbs up, you're going to see it happen up here. We've got four up there. Now we have 13 people in here. We've been going for a minute. If you wanna finish your stream, then you'll have the option right over here to where you will be able to finish your stream as well. And I'm gonna click this little icon down here and see what we have. Okay, so you can share this right now. So if I wanted to share this on Facebook, I could do that. Um, I can hide the chat if I don't want to see the chat come up. Uh, right now, Jason, this is the this is my phone. Uh, YouTube just released the mobile streaming option within the YouTube app for anybody over 10,000 subscribers. They're going to make it available for everyone. But uh, right now, it's just available for people that have 10,000 subscribers and up. So I'm putting together a tutorial on how to use it. You can also see like the chat. It it comes and goes, right? So you can just tap, and you, the chat will show up again. CJ the photographer, what's going on? Allie's Corner, sup? Now, I know on the iPhones, I don't see it here, but on the iPhone, you actually have the option for filters because my friend Owen, uh, Owen Video, you can go check his video out on this if you have an iPhone. Uh, just, just go to Owen Video in the YouTube search or I'll put a link to him down in the description once this video is finished. D-Tech, uh, DC Tech, what's going on? Yeah, so here's the, uh, here's the thing with this, guys. YouTube just put this out and uh, I'm putting a, a tutorial together for you on how to use it. Madison, this is actually happening right now on a Samsung J7, which is why the quality isn't that great. On this, I don't see any option to, to add filters, but I saw earlier that the iPhone option does allow you to add filters. But yeah, that pretty much sums up how, how you can get online with this. Hey Nick, how are you? Kamal, I'm doing fantastic, how are you? <laughs> but the, the cool thing about this is, you know, because you can see the comments rolling in here, you know, it's 
It's uh, in the middle after afternoon, my time, the most of the people that watch my videos are on the other side of the planet right now, but you can still see, you know, people are, are coming in and it's a great place to interact. The, the cool thing about this feature, in my opinion, is that this connection that you have, like right now, right? You know, you guys are coming in, uh, you know, Ali's Corner, it's 4 a.m. right now. I was actually, if you look at my channel page, I did a two hour live stream on this last night actually before I went to bed because you know it's a, it's a pretty cool feature. I wanted to jump on it and test it and see what was going on. The cool thing that I like about this is the interaction that you can have with your community. I mean, you can you can definitely increase your uploads with this and YouTube made the statement on their creator blog that you will be able to use this uh, or that you can optimize these videos as well for search. So people will be able to find them in the search engines as well. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use this. Um, if you, once the comments start rolling in, like last night I had, um, I think like 86 people um, at the at the height of the stream, but, but there were a lot of people coming and going and the comments were coming in pretty fast. And, and when that happens, you'll see that there's this little arrow icon right here. And basically all you have to do is you click that and that takes you right to the bottom of the comments. If you want to finish it up, all you have to do is just click on the little finish icon right up here in the top. Bam. Okay, now what happens is YouTube will show you your stats. So in this situation, you know, 59 people came in. The peak concurrence are 26, so I, I had 26 people at the max. No new subscribers from this stream. However, last night I was on there for two hours and I got 16 new people into my channel from being on there for two hours. But it gives you the duration, the time duration, and of course the average watch time for the people that came in, for the 59 people that came in. I'm gonna be doing live streams on my phone on a regular basis, so make sure that if you're subscribed that you hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified when I go live. So if you have a question or something like that, then maybe I can answer it for you on a live stream. If you are not already subscribed, make sure to hit the circle icon so that you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything or watch one of the other related videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.